Right, so you want to use AI to generate thousands of articles every single month and rank on Google and other search engines to get more traffic to your business. It makes perfect sense, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do it, how you can automate it, and why you'd want to do it. Now, with that being said, it's important to mention that we're living in a world where anyone can just press a button, for example, you're a journalist, and get proper content put out, right? And this means since everyone can do it, the barrier to entry is going to be much lower, right? So you got to find ways to stand out. And one of those ways is through human effort, which I talked about here on my YouTube channel, because the content that's going to stand out is the one that's not just button clicked and posted out to the internet. It's the one that's leveraging AI, right? Using copywriters to leverage AI, but then adding a human touch to it. And I'll link for this video in the description because it's very, very important. I just don't, don't just want to tell you to, here, listen, here's how you can generate a thousand articles every day with images, all that, and post them to your site because that can work, but in the long run, it won't work. Now, here's a look at what people are doing, and I like to show you always an example. Um, these guys right here, for example, they have articles written on their, on their site, right? All this in-depth article, right? And they have the person that wrote the article. You can see that it is their brand, right? This article was generated using automated technology and thoroughly edited and fact-checked by an editor on it on our editorial staff, sorry. So an AI wrote it, it was edited by a human and revised by another human, right? This is the type of AI content that's gonna win, right? These people can leverage tools like journalists, for example, which I'll, I'll show you in a second how it works, because you can generate articles, you can automatically post them to WordPress, and you can have this essentially on autopilot forever, right? Having, doing it, doing the work for you, essentially, if you, like you, if you have your own on-demand copyright, pretty cool. So this is so that, this is the type of content that's going to win. This is the type of content that's going to rank, right? These are AI-generated articles on pages that have high, big search volumes that are getting traffic, right? So this is to say that, yes, you can use AI content to rank on Google, but it's not just push button, right? And uh, even Google says here on, on their, uh, it was February, so a couple months ago, um, rewarding high-quality content, however it is produced. So Google doesn't care who or what wrote the article as long as it's valuable to their users, which makes perfect sense, right? And reality is that ChatGPT bland content is not necessarily valuable to their users. I mean, you can get away with, with it to some extent in less competitive industries. Yes, you can just use journalists to push a button and get articles in less competitive industries. But if you're working in the more competitive industries, you're gonna need some editors and some people to actually go out and edit and revise the articles. Um, that said, if you're working on uh, the international markets, for example, Spanish, Portuguese, Greek, all these uh, other languages that are not English, um, you can have you can get away with much more than in the more competitive English market. But, uh, but yeah, and this, by the way, writes in every single language. That's why I'm mentioning all that. Um, so yeah, that's that. I wanted to cover that first because it's important that you don't watch these videos telling you, listen, you can generate a thousand articles a day, and that's that. Yes, no. Um, yes, because Google has embraced AI, but no, because you got to put a human touch to it. And again, it, I, I highly, uh, I highly um, urge you to watch this video because it's quite, quite important about the human score and how to add human touch to your articles because it is working and companies like this one are doing it. These are all the articles by the author, brand name, right? Uh, bank rate. And all these are AI posted, right? As you can see, your best places to live in Colorado in 2023, and it could even do best places to live in X in year. Right, or best places to uh, hike or activity, right? Activity in place. So this could be all programmatically SEO generated, of course, then it'd have to be revised by uh, a actual human, right? So pretty interesting what you can do and let me show you how you can do it. So we just go to journalist.com, log in. We, you can have a, access for this on a, on a trial basis or sorry, for free to some extent. Let's say my business is vetly.com. By the way, this is a vet.com is an SEO platform, SEO marketplace where you can buy links, uh, content, uh, for example, Wikipedia pages, local SEO services, uh, for Google Maps, all that. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's the best SEO marketplace out there. Yeah, let's say, and I say that uh, Vetted, Vetted is a SEO marketplace where business owners and agencies can hire free, sorry, free Vetted. As you tell them. The reason why I say pre-vetted is because everyone here has been pre-vetted before. So, for example, um, it, it is a highly transparent, transparent, sorry, transparent platform. You'll notice that every single seller on here uh, shows their face, 
so you know exactly who you're buying the service from. In this case, it is down here Bradley and exactly what you're buying because every single service has to have samples attached to it. So not only do you know what you're buying because of the samples, but you know it is from Bradley in this case, get his services here. You can do a consulting call with him if you want, got his socials here as well. So yeah, let's move on. Let me just finish this right here and agencies. And um, I guess I did this a while back. So I'm, instead of doing generate here, I'm just gonna go to history. I'm gonna show you some of the articles he generated, right? Uh, this one right here, I'm gonna click view here real quick and view the articles. I can also download them, but I'm gonna view them here. So I can just change these images here if I want, because some of these come from Backlinko. And I mean, this is why AI content needs to be revised because content is not just about the actual content in it. It's about images, links and all that. Uh, and this one doesn't have any images. So let me see here if I can find one with images in the content. Let's go for, um, I guess let's go for this chiropractor, chiropractor one. This one has images, right? So you can just take this, right? Zip it up and take it and post it on our site, right? With a push of a button, we generated five articles. You can do 20, you can do how many, however many you want, right? Now this is the push button generate, the generation part of it, right? You can then go here, copy it like this, or just zip it up, copy it and paste it to WordPress, right? Now, if you wanna move one step further, we're gonna have three steps. We can go here again to the article and post it to WordPress. In this case, I have this domain right here, but if you click post WordPress, it's automatically gonna post from here, from journalist, to your WordPress site, right? So your WordPress site is gonna start getting populated with articles, with all these local articles you generate, right? With the images and all that, right? Super cool. Now, if you wanna elevate this one step even further, so at the moment we have the first step, which was the manual generation of articles. Then you have the semi-automatically, semi-automatic way, which was manually generating the articles and then clicking to publish them to WordPress. Now, what if you could automate the whole process, right? What if you could automate the article creation and publishing? Well, it turns out you can just go here, pretty straightforward. Okay, so it turns out I don't have this feature enabled on this account, not too sure why, but uh, what this would allow you to do is, again, with the push of a button, I'm gonna increase my face here and get my drawing pen right here, would allow you to get the articles automatically generated. So you only have to put the prompt once. Every single day, it would generate these many articles, however you wanna choose, five, 10, 20, 15, how many you want, and publish them automatically to your blog on autopilot every single day. Of course, you can choose to publish them live or you can choose to publish them as drafts so you can have someone, a human revise it. But the whole point here and the point with AI and these tools is you can and you should leverage AI tools to beat the competition, to be as far as they are. Because guys like this, um, uh, Bankrate, and there's many more, right? They're leveraging AI tools to produce content. These are the people that are gonna win. Right, it's become the norm. AI content has become the norm. Now, granted, you have to edit it and revise it manually, because this is the this is the type of content that you're up against, right? An AI, a solely AI-based article, would never outrank this. Never. Why? Because this has the human touch, right? And the human touch is very big with Google, right? They say that. I have videos solely on this, but they say that it is a ranking factor for the on-page SEO. So yeah, short one, but yes, leverage these tools, AI tools, because. If you don't, you're gonna get left behind, but leverage these tools, and I'll leave a link for this in the description, leverage them to your advantage to post out content and then give it and push it out to the next level by manually revising it and adding manual touch to it. Because if you don't, you're just gonna be, I mean, for now you can have some success because not everyone knows yet about uh, these AI tools for content, but they will be massively adopted and the people that are gonna win, if you're trying to build a long-term brand here, a long-term strategy, put some human effort into it. And yeah, that's it. I'll leave the link for this in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.